welcome back to the Young of the Parks. We are at Universal Studios Florida today, and I will say uh, it appears that the pandemic is completely over because the amount of crowds here are like this feels like August in 2019. Yeah. It is insane. So recently, uh, Universal did a deal where if you buy a ticket, uh, it's basically a fun card like Universal and Busch Gardens has. So you buy a ticket SeaWorld. and then, uh, sorry, SeaWorld and Busch Gardens. Um, buy a ticket and then you get in uh, every other day until December 24th for free. Yeah. Uh, and that is obviously hitting uh, along <laughs> with Premier pass holders because Horror Nights is canceled and they normally get a Horror Night ticket for free. Uh, they get a free guest ticket to Universal. So yeah. um, that's definitely hit. It's, it is crazy. It's great that they're offering things and I know they want people to be here. You know, we're here today. Yeah. We do wish, however, capacity was limited yeah. in the parks and yeah. we haven't actually physically gone inside yet, so we don't know. We're gonna play it by ear. As we've told you guys, if we're not comfortable, like we're gonna leave. Oh yeah, you know, for sure. It's not worth it. <laughs> um, but we'll check a few things out and kind of see how it goes. Um, they did have some newer social distancing methods in the security area. Um, I noticed a lot more stickers on the ground and yep. they were prioritizing, um, like they would send you to different um, metal detectors. Um, so that was nice. I mean, I still did see people in line without their masks or their masks on their chin and yep. you know, walking very clearly past team members. Um, but hey, don't make a team member talk to you. Please don't wear it on your chin. Please wear it normally. We all want to be here and just be safe. Yeah, and also stand on the stickers. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, we did have to tell someone we, you did. Yeah, um, I, I told the guy behind us to please stand on the sticker and he got a little uppity. He's like, well, why don't you stand on the sticker? And we were. And then I pointed down and I said, I am. Yeah, so. And he said, all right. But so, that's another yeah. thing, you know, be an advocate for yourself and we know it's uncomfortable, but you know, we're not trying to be a butt about it, but like, you gotta do something. You gotta keep, you have to keep yourself safe. And yeah. There's, we're not going in the right direction. No. Um, so yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll walk around we'll go and we'll see how, maybe see what a happens. very short vlog yeah. today. <laughs> uh, and we do technically have reservations to have a late lunch, early dinner at Mythos yeah. at three o'clock. Um, it's a little afternoon right now, close to one. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll see if we make it that far, slash might like, hide out somewhere for two hours yeah. and then duck in Mythos and then get the heck out of mm -hmm. here. So we'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. As we proceed into the front gates of Universal Studios Florida, it is another incredibly hot day outside. Beautiful August day in Florida. Uh, we left this morning, well when I checked the weather this morning at about 10.30, it already said it was 93, feels like 103, uh, and that has definitely increased. I guarantee you if I check again it'll probably feel like around 110 or so. Um, and I'm already sweating. We haven't even gotten inside. So oh, yeah. it's gonna be one of those days. Um, we got some new fans to try out. So once yeah. we get inside, we'll break those out and show you what's up. Yeah. Well, we were correct. Uh, it is crazy oh. town in here. I haven't seen it this busy since before shutdown. Um, let's just go straight, maybe okay. go look at uh, towards the tribute store. Cause we did see that the other room might have opened up. Look at these fans. So we got uh, two two sets of fans on Amazon. They sit on your neck, on your shoulders, and uh, pull you off hands free, uh, which is vital while wearing these masks. I really like it. They're I feel super like nice. It looks silly, but honestly, I don't care. Yeah. And I'm gonna wear this like all the time. Yep. And it feels super good. I've yeah. got mine on. Got a blue one here. Also wearing my Fright Night shirt that I got. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll head towards the tribute store and see if that other room has opened up. Um, actually, no, no. Let's go back to where um, Branch and Poppy might be, just in case. And we'll go, we'll go towards that way. Just kidding. Because um, they might be out. So we'll, we'll see if they're there. Sounds good. Got a great big line for the Bourne Stuntacular. Everybody's looking for an AC break already. I'd say that's worth the wait. It's definitely worth the wait. That show was good, y'all. It was a fantastic show. Super fun. And obviously brand new so the air conditioning is P -p -p primo hey look they do play the hollywood song here ha hey, you're right yes. ha ha not the wrong park um so definitely hit a lot of crowds here uh we just kind of dip duck dive duck and dodge Let's see uh, marilyn meeting over by the hollywood hotel we're gonna go towards Central Park area to maybe see Branch. 
Oh, I see, um, the heck is his name? King something or other from, uh... King Louis? King Louis. King Louis from, uh, uh, Madagascar is over there. That's fun. Big line for the newly opened Central Park Crepes. It is a crepe stand that Universal just spur of the moment opened up. They have both savory and sweet crepes. We've been looking at the brisket crepe. There's a chicken and goat cheese. Also lemon blueberry and cookies and cream. Like, oh my goodness, sounds amazing. Definitely want some of those. At some point, maybe not today because I got those Mythos reservations. It's like the pin stand over here in Central Park. Open back up. Oh, uh, the uh, Trolls World Tour standee is gone. And I don't see anybody over on the stage by E.T. Um, but that's okay, maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll sit down and just hang out for a little bit and wait and see if anybody comes out. All right, attempting to cut through the, geez Louise people, cut through the secret entrance here and head over towards the tribute store. Blues Brothers is uh, happening. Uh, Definitely can confirm it is insanely busy. Insane. I have not seen it this busy since the closer. Um, this just feels like a regular summer at the parks. No rhyme or reason. And it definitely does not really feel like they're limiting capacity. Um, we did see that uh, Volcano Bay was at capacity, uh, but the parks are not very, very busy. Like, just look at the amount of people that are listening to Blues Brothers and waiting for Finnegan's Holy moly! It's so loud! Oh my god! Alright ladies and germs, it is time to pay tribute. Wow, there's like no one in line. Oh wait, no, it's kidding. <laughs> there was a huge break in it. Um, no, you know what, actually, no, it's a, it's a smaller line than it was uh, when we went the other day. So, let's get inside and pay tribute. Check out the new room. And there's a special surprise as I trip over the curb. I <laughs> will show you in a moment. Holy moly. Here's one of the new additions. The Franken Mold. It is a moldomatic machine that they have put a Frankenstein mold in. Uh, it is $6 and we will definitely be doing it right now. Like that. Did it anything? Oops, yeah. card approved. And you can't use the card, so it'll work. Oh, there it goes. Tribute store. Here's a better look at Frankenstein. He's a moldomatic. He's made out of wax, I believe, or plastic. Actually, no. Is it is it plastic? I think it's plastic. It's like honeycomb plastic. I hope it's not wax because then it would melt. Oh, that's true. Yeah, good point. You know, good point. Um, moldomatic machines are really famous. They used to be all over uh, Orlando and the kind of the Central Florida area. And there's actually one company that maintains all of them now. Uh, and they have a website you can check out kind of where they are in Florida. There's some in Tennessee and in the Carolinas, I How think, do you too. Because I looked it up oh, a while ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because like, wow. uh, when I went to Free Play Florida last year, uh, they had a Moldomatic, one of Mickey and one of the uh, Sinclair Brom Brontosaurus. Oh, yeah, you got me a little orange Mickey. I did. Um, Moldomatic is just cool, very, very cool machine. Yeah, very cool distinct smell. And that Joe is amazing. Said, like he thinks they might. This is all like hearsay, but they might switch it out throughout the season. Yeah. So if they do other Universal monsters, like a uh, creature from the Black Lagoon, would be. Oh yeah. So cool. I definitely think they will because Frankenstein is not a typical Moldomatic character. Okay. Like, it's gonna sound weird, but I know what all the Moldomatic characters are. Oh. Okay. And that and Frankenstein's I mean, never been one of them. Judging by the as far as I, I know. Learned, that doesn't sound weird. Yeah. So. Um, it's mostly like dinosaurs, Mickey, Donald, 
um, I mean, and the fact that tigers, it says, like animals, yeah, it even says Universal, Universal Studio, Orlando. Or, sorry, yeah, it says, well, it says Universal Studios. Oh, okay, Universal Studios. Yeah. So that makes me think they're going to do more. Yeah, I definitely think they'll do more and swap out. Um, so cool. yeah, and that was in the Frankenstein room. It was not in the new room that has not yeah. opened yet. And it was six dollars, card or cash, no discounts. Correct. It's just like vending. Yep. Yeah. Um, and they did restock a lot of their merch in there, yeah. and there was almost no one in there. Yeah. Which oh, was yeah. nice. It was very, very like empty. Yep. Which is in terms of people, so that was awesome. So I got the other two magnets I wanted, the T-shirt I wanted, and I got a Halloween Horror Nights 2020 face mask. Um, just a plain dated year. HHN face mask because I wasn't crazy about the other designs, um, but I like that. It's got the year on it, and what um, a piece of like HHN history. Exactly, what a piece of just universal like, history. That's why the, I made sure I got that UOEP mask. Did you notice that this was a large? Yes, because okay. the medium ones are too small. Like oh. we, the ones we all have are larges. Okay. Yeah. Hmm, not anymore. Yeah, but oh. yeah, weird time. Yeah. But uh, okay. continues to be hot. Continues to be busy, and that wasn't too bad. It really wasn't. I yeah, I was happy with that experience. And it was nice and cool in there, so yeah. that was cool. But um, we stepped outside and I'm already drenched again. I mean, now so. we're sitting in direct sun. Yeah, we should probably find but, some shade. You know. I don't know where there's shade. Oh, there's some shade over there. Let's go over there. Yeah, but then you have to get up. That's true. So I'm gonna link this down below. Um, but if there's a website that I had found called thrilldata.com uh, forward slash virtual line. So what they actually do is they use the universal API to check on virtual line distribution. So I believe they actually spoof the GPS and use the API to pull the data for virtual lines, uh, not to take any, but just to report on it, uh, which is an incredible resource because as you can see, here's everything that has a virtual line available. Uh, Fast and Furious we won't look at because that's actually fully closed. Everything, oh, and Haggard's is also fully closed right now. They're actually hoping to get that back up and running Monday. They, they had a fire backstage, it's very interesting. Um, but you can see nothing available. It is so busy that there is zero virtual line times available, and they're starting a show. Holy moly! We're getting me higher! Busy, 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 busy. And everybody stops in front of us. They don't know what's happening. Nobody knows how to walk in a theme park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Heading back to Hollywood Boulevard. We still got a sizable line going towards the Stuntacular and now an even equally sizable line. Heading into the UAP Lounge for a nice AC break. Uh, it is a very cold AC inside, which is nice. And uh, paying attention, okay. Um, we're going to now head towards Islands of Adventure in advance of our 3 o'clock Mythos reservation. Uh, and we want to know this. Do you say Mythos or do you say Mythos? We truly don't know. It can't be Mythos. I mean, Mythos just sounds hilarious and silly. Yeah, like, you don't say myth. like, oh, I heard a myth. It's like myth. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be Mythos. Yeah, but you keep saying Mythos. I know. I don't know I why I do. I don't know. I, I honestly don't know either. I should stop saying it. But it's also really funny to me. Mythos. So Mythos just sounds hilarious. So, oh, okay. see my sense of humor is uh, highbrow here. But... Busy day here at IOA. Proceeding now through Seuss Landing. God, summer smells so good. I'm starving. Um, proceeding through Seuss Landing towards Mythos for our three o'clock reservation. Um, probably also going to take a look at some of the construction that's happening with the new Velocicoaster as we kind of pass by here. 
Uh, hard to see from here, but it's definitely coming along. I actually saw the other day a, uh, a hawk built a nest at the very top of the top hat for the Velocicoaster. So a raptor, an actual dinosaur, nested on the dinosaur. So that's exciting. Pretty cool. I feel kind of bad because I... They're going to have to take that down. <laughs> yeah. Green eggs and ham. Still open. Rocking strong. At some point we got to get some... Oh, this is where they have pizza tots. I didn't know that. Yeah. Dang. All right. Yeah, pizza tots, who hash, green eggs and ham tots, and buffalo chicken tots. I love pizza fries, and I feel like I'd like pizza tots even more. Because it just seems like a more compact way to eat pizza fries. And same thing, really. So we're still a little too early for a 3 o'clock reservation. There's tons of people waiting outside. So we're actually going to go and check out the one of the mass relaxation stations. But this one is actually in the old show stadium for the Sinbad Seven Seas Stunt Extravaganza. I haven't been there since they closed. I'm gonna check that out and uh, cool off a little bit more while we wait for reservation at three. Our first time going into a Universal U rest area. Here's the entrance. Let's check it out. We go inside and I think we're literally the only ones in here. That's exciting. It's so cool. It is super cool. It's in the water or anything. Oh, well, yeah, the water's still there. Crazy. Uh, I'm just keep going forward and just go over here. Yeah. Let's go sit in the splash zone. <laughs> we are literally the only ones in here, which I am totally fine with. Oh, it feels nice in here. Yeah, it Somewhat air conditioned. It is? And, uh, yeah, I mean, they have... You can, you can feel it. Yeah. You feel it moving. Yeah. Not anything crazy, but um, definitely at least a little bit air conditioned. Um, yeah, here's the old Sinbad. Voyage of the Seven Seas stunt show. Uh, it was a fun show. Yeah, we De saw it once yeah. semi-recently, and it was pretty good. It was not what I was expecting. They yeah. definitely, like, had a ton of stunts. Yeah, a ton of really cool stunts, cool effects. Oh, but definitely thing. a little bit dated, but it was yeah, neat. Yeah, yeah, but that's one thing Universal does really well. Like, their performers, like, everything they do, like, is really good. Oh, yeah, very for sure. Talented. Yep. So, definitely check out the U-Rest area. Uh, this is in the Lost Continent. You do have to um, go over towards the bathrooms that are near, um, I'm trying to think, near the kind of the flame, not flame tree barbecue, but the <laughs> fire eaters barbecue place. There's a, yeah, our own park. There's a, uh, a bathroom towards that way. So you actually go towards that bathroom, then you'll start seeing signs for the U-Rest area. And um, come back in here, there'll be no one around. Ladies and gentlemen, to Mythos. We did confirm it is indeed Mythos. I uh, never thought it wasn't. I know. Well, you never know. I just want to go on record. Kelly's always right. I just want to go on record. <laughs> Mythos. So we have our starters. We're probably going to get the uh, Semolina Crusty Calamari. Sounds super good. Their soups and salads. And then entrees. I believe Kelly's actually going to get the UAP special that I will put down below. That is a lamb bowl. Sounds super good. Um, and I don't know if I want the seasonal wild mushroom risotto or... I don't know. Yeah, I might get that lamb, that mushroom risotto. It sounds super tasty. Um, they also have a lamb burger that definitely sounds really, really good. So uh, make some decisions here and see. They also have an awesome looking drink menu. Mythos Potion of the Gods sounds delicious. I kind of want to get that. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't, really I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't fault you for it. I'd have some. Raspberry Lemonade. Mythos Margarita Limoncello Collins. They also have martinis. Draft beer, of course. And all their other non-alcoholic and et cetera drinks. Then they have desserts. 
panna cotta, hazelnut creme brulee, and a gooey cake. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Kelly got the potion of the gods and we did I not know it would be that big. I miss them. So I haven't really been like drinking a lot because I'm on my fitness kick. But I just finished the um, Running Universal Trolls virtual series. Like this morning I ran a 10K. So I'm like celebrating. Um, yeah, this is... We're gonna share this and I don't know if we'll finish it because... I'll read to you what is in it. It is Malibu Coconut Rum, Captain Morgan Spice Rum, Triple Sec, Razzmatazz, Orange Cranberry, Pineapple Juices, and a float of 151. Cheers! It's really good. It kind of tastes like a hurricane. Oh, oh nice. Like oh, perfect. Orange and cranberry. All right, it nice. Also Kind of tastes like one of the um, drink of the day because it's busy. Oh, like, like the stingray? Is it a stingray? I don't know. It looks kind of like a stingray because the cranberry. You'll really like it. Though. All right, cool. Yeah, it's delicious. Woo. Here's our fried calamari. Comes with some spicy marinara. Um, we did originally ask for the. Is it chorizo aioli? Uh, we asked to see if we could be get on the side. It's actually underneath. Uh, and chorizo is sausage, so Kelly will just kind of try to eat the ones on top that aren't touching it, and we should be okay. Your entrees have arrived. I have the wild mushroom risotto with beef tips on the top, some delicious tomatoes and mushrooms, etc. Looks really good. Kelly, got the UOAP uh, lamb bowl. Yeah, so this is a secret menu item just for Universal Annual Pass holders. Um, it's turmeric rice, tomato, spiced lamb, hummus, cucumbers, and some pita. Looks really good. Delicious. Mm. I was gonna film first impressions, but honestly, both of these dishes are were too good to stop eating. These are no, it's fine. These are amazing. This risotto is incredible. Super flavorful. Very mushroomy. There is asparagus in there as well. Um, the beef tips don't really add much to it, to be honest. Maybe just some extra protein. Um, they don't have a lot of flavor on their own, but when combined with the risotto, they're much, they're delicious. And then I had a little bit of Kelly's bowl, and that is, oh my god, it's so good. Your hummus is awesome, and it is so good. Um, the hummus is really good, the lamb is really spicy, the so turmeric rice is really good. That was a, very good, I'm glad I got that. All right, here's our final bill after our discount. $74.33 for everything. So definitely, you know, uh, moderately priced lunch slash dinner, uh, but I think definitely worth checking out. All right, we just got done with Mythos. That was a phenomenal meal. That was so it was good. so, so good. Definitely something I would, if you've never been, Definitely come check it yeah. out. Yeah. Um, come out of your way. Come for mm. you know a late lunch, early dinner. Just come yeah. for dinner. Um, my entree to risotto was fantastic. How was your UAP the bowl? The bowl was amazing. Super it was good. like perfect blend of like something lighter but still plenty of protein, like really uh, filling. I really really liked it. Yeah, and our uh, appetizer, the calamari, was super good. Your drink was super, super that good. That drink was so good. It was super tasty. Oh my gosh, um, yeah. Overall, yeah, fantastic meal, great server. Um, yeah, like I showed you, it was about service. $74. After tip, it was about $90. Yeah, so it is on the, um, like, they do classify it as, like, higher dining, so just yeah. know that going in. I would say it's still worth the price, but, like, I wouldn't eat it every time we come here. Oh, yeah, of course, like, yes. Still, like, special, special occasion type of thing. Like, um, but, yeah, it was really good. I'm glad yeah. we finally tried it. Absolutely. Well, it's after four. We are fairly full from dinner, or lunch, I guess. I don't even know what that classified as. Linner. It was a meal. Linner. Okay, linner. Yeah, fairly full from linner. Still for, continues to be extremely busy, so we're gonna actually head towards the exit. Um, one thing we are gonna do before we leave the greater Universal Resort property uh, you can now mobile order Voodoo Donuts. So, get a couple of Voodoo Donuts to go and enjoy those later this evening. One of the donuts that I want isn't listed for mobile order. But they were had it listed earlier, so hoping it's not out. Uh, we're just gonna actually go there and see how the line looks and see if they have any. I was gonna get the, uh, the fritter, the giant banana 
caramel and et cetera fritter, um, yeah. which is super good. So we're gonna head over there actually and just, uh, instead of mobile ordering, just uh, see if they have it and uh, we'll go from there. I got an ODB and a little pink. No fritters whatsoever at the moment. So that's sad. Some donuts are better than no donuts. That's true. That's a, that's a good point. Well, that's gonna wrap up our video and our day here at Universal. Um, got some donuts, ate a mythos, went to the tribute store. Yeah. Pretty productive day, even though it was unbelievably yeah. busy. We were there for about four hours, but one of those hours was uh, eating. Eating, right? yeah, 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 in yeah. mythos. So probably my threshold of how long I would spend here yeah. with this crowd level. Yeah, I'd say so. Um, well, if you liked our video, make sure to give it a thumbs up uh, in the comments down below. Actually, if you've been to Mythos, I would love to hear your thoughts about the restaurant yeah. uh, and what you think, if it's worth it or not, to check out when you're yeah. in and around Allen's Adventure. Uh, come and see more of our adventures. Make sure to subscribe, click the bell icon to get notified every time we go live with new videos. And as always, we will see you next time for more Young at the Parks. Bye! I'm making a smiley face under the mask.